What's going on, guys? Your girl, Connie Diamond, Big Diamond, Bronx, New York, in the building. Top girl. <laughs> I have a new single out right now called Pose. What time it is? Bad bitch o'clock. Yes, and I'm here with my girl, Nyla, and we need to talk. What's going on, guys? Nyla Simone here with another episode of We Need to Talk. And today I got my sister, Connie Diamond, in the building. What's up? Hello, Nyla. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Good? Doing great. You, you are doing great. I hope so. I feel like I am. It looks like you are. Shit, it looks like you are to me. Yeah. I'll okay. say this. I feel like we connected early on. Then I didn't see you for a few years. You haven't seen me. Mm -hmm. Then when I did see you, we were backstage somewhere. And I'm like, damn, yo, you're killing it. You just yes. got signed. Just that and the third. So within our break, though, it's just cool to see, like, how far you've came. Yeah. That shit's crazy. Yeah, man. Um, Our path has crossed before. And I yes. feel like we're meant to be here right now. Everyone has elevated and Back. doing our thing. We're putting on for the city. How does it feel? The, from the Connie who was doing showcases in the Bronx mm -hmm. to now. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels good. I mean, I feel like, I personally feel like I work really hard. Facts. So, it feels good. It feels like my hard work is paying off. And I'm just, I'm keeping my foot on the gas. And I'm just, you Period. know, I'm going. I love that. Yeah. Let's just backtrack a little bit. For those who don't know you, mm -hmm. who is Connie Diamond? <gasps> Connie Diamond is this cool ass, dope ass Sprinkle a ghetto <laughs> girl. <laughs> Why she got sprinkle? I, mean, I got a little sprinkle in there. No, I'm, I'm just I'm a girl from the Bronx. Um, I spent some of my time in Queens. I'm a true artist. Um, I hate to be boxed, and I always try to be creative. Um, I'm just I'm just a really fun, dope, creative girl from the Bronx. I just would leave it there. But period. Yeah. There was no cap in that. Period. And she is really, really an artist. She be in her head about shit. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, she be in her head about shit. But the music is fire. And I, I will say, like, a lot of your early music was going viral. Yeah. The, the freestyle videos that you were doing. Like, what sparks you to even, fuck it, I want to write a rap? Oh, man. A lot of my earlier days were spent doing uh, poetry. Mm. Um, so I actually started doing poetry. And then I started, like, transitioning into doing um actual like writing a rap and that started when i was like 15. were you doing spoken word poetry like, i did a lot of that like i've won like spoken word contests See, in like city, in the sky was in blue the school. so i said who knew and then were you doing that uh, no oh. <laughs> <laughs> no it was more like i'm not gonna lie i i started off doing like um a lot of like black history related poetry okay. slams That's stuff fire. like that and then i started like drifting off to, to doing more like Hip hop kind of vibe, so it was cool. Love that. Yeah. So growing up, some of your influences or inspirations growing up to want to be an artist would be like um, some of my inspirations as far as like artists or yeah. just in general. Um, Both actually. Oh uh, man, I mean, I always been very artistic. I always like grew up and I was like, I always wanted to be in the art class and the step team and the double you know, all that stuff. So. Um, I feel like, as far as artists, I feel like Ghostface Killer. I feel like that's why mm. I get my aggressive shit from. I love Ghostface Killer. Fire. Um, Ghostface Killer, Remy Ma, Dipset, Jada Kiss, you know, all of those. All the real niggas. All the boom pops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the boom pops, the pops. Yeah. Yes. Top tier list right there. I'm surprised you said Ghostface. I love him. A lot of people don't give him his flowers. They don't, but when I was younger, I remember my, my dad used to play a lot of Ghostface Killer. And mm. it was a song called Churches with Ghosts. That was my favorite song. And it was fire. It was just like, he was just like, the hook was so like so soothing and soft. And then his verse was just so like, uh, 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 like oh, I like this. So, <laughs> yeah. That's tough. Okay. Well, since you've been... Um since you've been, you've been going viral for a while now, I feel like you're used to it. But now I feel like we're starting to really get to know Connie with the music that you've been putting out. And I think that's dope. So yeah. talk about this, this I feel like, new era of Connie that we're in. I mean, this new era of Connie is more like, it's just growth and ele elevation. I know I said that already, but I really mean that because I really feel like that. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm taking my time more with my music. I'm trying to make sure, I'm making sure that, I'm structuring my songs a little bit better, like, and as I'm, as I'm, like, 
um, meeting people within my label and in the industry, I'm just learning things as well as far as like how to stay afloat or how to like make a certain kind of song mm-hmm. or you know every every you know everything everything is like based on like sound and yeah. like you know like you know every, everybody needs that bop that that bop like mm-hmm. you know so I, I've been trying to like keep get like I've been trying to been basically like just keep myself in a in a space where I can like stay open to like getting advice on how to like. Stay afloat. Are you ever discouraged by the fact that, because like you said bef- before, like you're a real artist. Do you get discouraged by the fact that there's more like entertainers within the music industry than there is artists, if that makes sense? Mm. that makes sense? Elaborate a little. Like, like there's like r- artists who are really just entertainers as opposed to like artists who are actually like skilled and crafted. Oh, okay. Do I feel... Do I feel like it's hard for me to stay afloat in that? No, do like, you, do you feel frustrated, like, with all the noise around that? Mm, do I do I feel frustrated? Sabi feeling like the art began lost. Some days, I, some days I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. And then some days I'm like, all right, cool, because some of the stuff be fun. And I feel like um, we're in a state where, like, it's not about the art anymore. It's more about inter- just entertainment. That breaks my heart. It, I feel it is what it is. It breaks my heart. Yeah, it is what it is. It's just it's not all about art anymore. It's just more about entertainment and numbers and and views and streams and clicks and stuff like that. But shout out to everybody doing anything. Like you know, it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. Stay in my lane. Focus on me. I know, but I just your art is dope. So just people Thank who you. actually still care about the art, I feel like really deserve more flowers than they get. Yeah, that's it. That's all, all good. That. Appreciate that. But twenty twenty three, you starting strong. Drop move, mm-hmm. boom. We had to protest. Ludacris, <laughs> hey, I need you to clear this sample. Did he ever? Did he ever actually reach out to you about the record? Um, he. I never spoke. To, I. I never spoke to Luda. I put a freestyle out uh, years ago to Wish Your Fantasy. Oh and, yeah. And he like he like wrote some fire emojis, but um, we never spoke face to face or anything. But. We have some stuff brewing coming up soon, so we'll see. Love that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, because you're really animated with your stuff. Kind of like how Luda was or like how Missy was. So yeah. a collab between either one. Hello, we would love that. Yeah, I would I would love that. I feel like everything's going to happen when it's supposed to. So I'm just waiting my turn and letting everything just okay. fall into God's hands. Okay, fair. Well, he he cleared the sample, so he knows. Yeah, we almost there. He knows what's up. Yep. Okay. We almost there. And then I saw you reached out to Ken, the man, for the remix. I love that. How did you guys connect? Ken and I have been cool since for like a couple of years now, maybe like five, six years. We met at South by Southwest. Mm. Um, we both had shows out there. She was um, underground at the time, and I was as well. And we just stayed in contact. Like we we met out there and it was just good vibes so we just periodically we'll hit each other up how you doing how you feeling how's it how's the music going and congratulations to her because she ended up like getting really 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 big and she still is really really big doing her yeah, thing yeah. so yeah shout out to ken she's a sweetheart shout out to ken she body she did what needed to be done she did because i feel like not everybody can get on a track with you connie i'm not gonna lie yeah man <laughs> I'm, I'm i she 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 definitely did what she had to do i'm very excited Still excited about that. Yeah. And I just, right now, like, especially, I never envisioned hip-hop being in a place where there's so many dope women MCs, so many, like, dope lanes for women to just thrive, make money, and collaborate and stuff like that. So who else are some girlies that you're trying to collab with? Um, I really like Lakia. I really like Doja Cat. Um... I like Dochi a lot. She's very animated too. I She's all over Dochi. the place. I um, love it. You guys, whoa! I think we would like fuck something. I would have to take a seat to watch that music video. I think it'd be, I think it'd be crazy. Yeah, and, and Dochi did something. Yeah, I like I like most of the ladies that are out right now. They doing anything. Fire. What about Remy? Because I be seeing her in your comments with the prayer hands. I love Remy. I'm like, I love her. Remy is really behind, and it just makes six big big beat. BX energy, like yeah. <laughs> what we doing? Um, we we've been talking. We've been we're trying to figure something out. Like she's she's really dope. Okay. She um she wants to figure something out for us. So we we letting everything just you know play out how it's gonna play out. Well, it sounds like y'all it's already loading, got though. something. It's loading. It's loading. The clip is loaded. It's loaded. So you just ready to pull the trigger? I I I'm I'm waiting. I'm just waiting. We're waiting. What are we waiting for? I hate this industry bullshit. What are we waiting for? It's not that. It's not that. You know, everything is, it is a timeline for everything. All right. You know, you know how that goes. 
Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so possible Remy Ma- Remy Ma collab on the way. Are you guys friends now? Um, I want to say we're friends. That's what it, it looks like we're on cool. Instagram. I think we're pretty cool. Has she like given you like any career advice and like maneuvering or anything like that? Um, we haven't got that deep, but okay. I did give her flowers. She gave me mine, and we spoke. We spoke a couple times. Like we we speak here and there. She's, cool. she's very busy right now. She's doing a lot of behind the scenes. She stuff. do got a lot going on. Yeah, she got a lot going on. But yeah, so you know, we we almost there. I love that. Yeah. So when the time is right, we got it. Yes, ma'am. And then I know you just dropped another single, Pose. Yes. Love that joint. Thank you. I'm actually working on a video. You know, I'm not like a big TikTok or anything like that, but I'm working on a video. It's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. We tried. We tried. <laughs> no, I was we doing tried. It again. That was, that video wasn't it. We're gonna do it again. We can do it again. Um, proposed, but tell me what was the inspo behind that? Oh my god, I I've been killing myself to get. I've been killing myself to get a uh, um a record for the ladies, for the mm. females. I feel like the guys. I'm, I already got the guys locked, and I got the guys in headlock. They fuck with me. Yeah. Um, the girls fuck with me too, but I need something for them to get ready to, for them to get ready to what they about to go out. Some to turn up to on the spots. So that's my that was my my thought process on creating pose. I love that. Yeah. That's tough. It was pretty easy too. By the way, I was like, wow, it's kind of easy. So is this the bag you're gonna be in? I'm tr- I'm trying to I'm trying to like um do more records like that. Okay. But I'm definitely gonna still do my. Slap a slap a bit. Boom, bat, bat. <laughs> Connie at the core always. Oh, so what? My what, music. what is next? What's, what are we going to get from you in 2023? And what, yo, what's your connection to all the NBA athletes? You got LeBron pace, posting you, Damian Lillard on your feature. <laughs> like, yo, you got a cousin or brother or something in the no, NBA? What's no, happening? No, 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 man. Um, Dame, Dame and I, um, we have a mutual friend. Okay. And LeBron just was, you know, LeBron be on his music shit. He do low key VA and all that. He be on music shit. So he, he, I don't even, I, was, I don't even know how that happened, but I'm grateful and happy that he fucks with my music. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I got a record that's on on NBA 2K soundtrack. So I don't know. Maybe they like tapped in. Wow. From that. So I don't know, but I'm happy. I did not know I that. That's, that. That's dope. I love that. I need it for myself. What records on it. NBA 2K? Raid, the one with Damian Lillard. Oh, that's fly. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't play video games, though, but... It's all good. Tough. I love that. Okay. Flip. So, we're going to do uh, something with Remy coming soon. You're low-key um, affiliated to the NBA, but you don't want to share the plug. Got what? it. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Just a recap of our combo. You're now, crazy. Let me stop. All You're right, crazy. we're about to play a game. Are you ready? Sure. It's called... Why, why are you looking nervous like that? I didn't like know we were playing the game. I wasn't told this. We were playing the game. No, nah, I'm joking. Come it's on. A calm, it's a calm game. It's just so people can get to know you more. Okay. We're going to ask you all your deepest, darkest secrets. What? Girl. All right. No, it's fun. It's fun. Okay. The older I get, the less I blink. The older I get, the less I... You want to drink? Mmm. <laughs> I feel like it should be the other way around. No. <laughs> <laughs> the recovery process is not the same. That's a fact. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you just recovery time used to be, like, 24 hours of good. Now it's, like, three to five business days. Like, yeah, man, I just got to get myself together, you know? <laughs> not after a crazy drinking night. Like, nah, it's, the recovery is not the same. So, yeah. It do take time. That's funny. Three to five business days is nuts. But, okay. I can't believe I actually blinked when I was younger. Hmm. I can't believe I actually blinked on younger. Um, I don't know. I jumped on someone's car once when I was younger. Like, on someone's car? While it was inside of it. It was, it was a parked car. It was an old lady. And I just like... And <laughs> Where, <laughs> is this, lady. Where is this story I like going? ran up the hood and bounced on the car and then ran down. And I was like almost beating myself because I was so scared. Like I probably, probably was a dare or something, but I don't ever forget that. And you really did that shit. That poor lady. That poor lady. I like, jumped on top of the hood, like the top of the car, like three times, like one, two, three, and I just ran on. With your full strength? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. This is when you. Because <laughs> I'm listening back to it, like, wow, you really, like, what the fuck? This Why would you do you, that? This is... I was a kid. I was, I was in high school. Like, I was on some, I was on some bullshit. Hilarious. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 
Yo, I would be so livid if I'm in the car and then all of a sudden... This it was parked, thank God, because what if she wasn't? She probably would have drove off. I would have been but on the ground. she was in there while you did yeah, it? Man, you are car. bold as hell. <laughs> you oh, are shit. very bold for that. All right, I can't believe... This is why this happened in the Bronx. No, it was in Queens. No. <laughs> no. All right. Queens. I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about blank. I'm a little embarrassed at the fact that I know so little about politics. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't I, I don't know a lot about politics. I can't tell you nothing right now about no politics. Yeah. I feel like I feel like we should be a little bit more like in tune with what's going on. I I just I just randomly like, see stuff on Instagram and I'm like, damn, I didn't know. Oh really? <laughs> this they passed this law? And it was like, yeah, they then did that. Like it's, I know. it's, it's like you should probably be a little... I don't know about you, but I felt like, guys, this, you know, African-Americans and just females in general, we should just be more tapped in a little bit of politics. Right, it's pretty bad. Yeah. But, I mean... Nah, yeah, it's pretty bad. I, I guess there's no excuse for it, but... When you do try to get into it, it just be feeling like bullshit. Because yeah. I've tried. Yeah. And then I'd be shocked, like, wait, they did what? What's happening? I don't got time for that type of stress. <laughs> Even the news be stressing me out. Yeah, girl. Yeah. I don't watch the news for that reason. Yeah, it's like wow. that. What What is your source of news? Twitter? Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Same. Sometimes I look back at my life and blank. And blank. Maybe laugh. It's a lot of guys I dated I should never dated. Mm. <laughs> a lot of shit I did I probably should never did. Like, I look like I laugh. I, I, it's, it's good. If you can look back and laugh, that's great. I would say laugh. <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> if you can look back and laugh, that's great. That is a bar because, yeah. man, that's all you can't do at this point, right? Oh, yeah, seriously. You can't do nothing else about it. I feel you on that one. From time to time, it's good to blink. <laughs> can I say everything I was thinking or no? Please say what you was thinking. Cause oh, I was going to say masturbate because I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like it no. just saves you time. It just saves you from dealing with a bunch of, like, Fuck niggas and guys you probably really shouldn't fuck with. And I I feel like I've experienced that throughout my past years. And I'm like, damn, I should I could have just could have just rubbed one out. <laughs> I, didn't have, I, 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 I didn't have to do this. I'd have to be here. Now yeah, I feel like a clown, rubbed, you know? Yeah. I'm sorry. Rubbed one out is hilarious. Hey man, I love the honesty and I think you're right. It definitely can prevent you from doing some stupid yeah. ass choice making. Ah, all right, cool. Um, if I could teleport people, I would teleport blank. If you could teleport people, mm -hmm. like someone, if I could teleport someone to me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Ooh, child, I would, I would. She said, that damn vibrator's <laughs> out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know. Like, I would probably, I don't know. Like, I'd probably teleport, like, I don't know, like a. A crusher or something like, hey, I just, hey, how you doing? How'd you get here? Something like that. Maybe a crush. Okay. I like that. Are you crushing on somebody currently? No. You are a liar. <laughs> how are you going to lie to me? <laughs> no, I am not. Why are you trying to lie to me? No. Okay. Unfortunately. We doing this. I know dating somebody of your caliber must be difficult. It's a little. Yeah. Hard to decipher who's genuine and who's not you know so take my time okay fair enough this is why you're denying the crush right now yeah i'm single though but there's some people that i kind of kind of think I, some people that i think is cute right that's cool that's good enough <laughs> <laughs> the way she's dancing around this right now is so nuts <laughs> next question <laughs> I made a complete fool of myself when I blinked. <gasps> hmm. When I blinked. Complete fool of myself when I blinked. I don't know. I don't feel like I've really ever made a fool of myself. Is there any times where one of my favorite stories somebody said is that they got on stage. Someone told them if they drink hot water and like olive oil, it would help with their voice. And it like fucked his voice up. So when he went on stage, he started singing. And, and it, it was, was fucked up. It was fucked up. Nothing like Damn. that. I can't think of it right now. No. Nah. Think of any, yeah. Okay, an ideal world for Connie Diamond is blank. Like, if you could just wake up 
and everything is goes your way, what is it? Um, it would be breakfast in bed every single fucking morning. <laughs> Yo, she's such a princess. <laughs> <And my> man, <laughs> period. Like, good morning, princess, diamond. <laughs> like, yes, good morning. It is a good morning, right? Yes, and <laughs> uh, I would be like, I don't know, I would be like just being just in a, a like a, um, a really good position in my life, in my career. Yeah. My people around me taking care of, my family taking care of, Period. and like a really, you know, a good a good man and a good support system. I feel that. Real simple. You got siblings? I do. Yeah. Older or younger? I have two, I have three younger and two older. You have a lot of siblings. It's a lot of us. It's gang gang outside. We outside. I see. Yeah. So wait, I meant, I meant to ask you before we actually got into this game. What is your like obsession with the blue? And you've my been, obsession? Yeah, you've been obsessed with blue. You think I'm blue. obsessed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, honestly, I feel like I look really good with blue. I feel like I look mad good with blue. I feel like I look like that bitch with blue. That's your color. You know, you, you have a, a certain go-to style mm. or something like I feel like you feel like I'm when I when I wear this, I'm going to be that bitch in the spot. When I do this hairstyle, I'm going to be that. Like, I feel like that's how I feel with this. I just stuck to it also because I feel like it's easier for people to identify me as mm. an artist. Like, if someone color. heard me, but they don't know my name, they can describe me like the girl with the blue hair. It's like yes, yes, it's yeah. Easy. So, but most importantly, because I feel like I look mad good blue. Period. Yeah, I love the blue um, bob. Thank you. That's your favorite Connie Diamond look. That's my favorite Connie Diamond look. That's the signature Connie Diamond look. The bob. Is, it is. It's the it's the one. Yes. Got to switch it up sometimes though. You feel me? This emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that the bob is when Connie yeah, has the, the bob kiss. on. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Um. You would never believe me if I told you blank. If you told, if you, I would never believe you. <laughs> I would never believe you if you told me blank about you. Oh. Like, I'm allergic to cashews. Oh. It's something much cooler. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if I told you I used to be fat. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this proof on the internet. Like, Honey, how long have I fucking known you? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't know if I told you what. Let me see. Mm, let me see. Mm. I don't know. Boo. <laughs> tomato, tomato. You never believe. All right, all right. Let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. Yes. You never. Be, you never believe me if I told you that I that I worked in a strip club before. What? <laughs> You're right. We were like for like a couple weeks. I just wanted to try it. Doing what, <laughs> bitch? Get some dollars. No, you wasn't. <laughs> I was. You was a bartender. I did. I did. Bartender? No. Stripper? No. I was. Is she lying? It's exclusive content here. here. Like, no one has ever <laughs> got this before. What? I'm dead ass. You stripping in the Bronx? Nah. It was, I can't, I'm not about to, it was not in the Bronx. No. It was very far away from here. I tried uh, for a couple weeks. It was lit. <laughs> good money. Ah, it was lit. It was good money. It was so lit. I was so young. Like, I was so young and lost. Were you nervous? <laughs> but. <laughs> not the fake tear. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not funny. Like I, I was, I was into like a lot of just dancing and dancing and shit. Like back in the days, like dance, dancing, just dancing, like dance groups and dancing. I just mm. wanted to dance, and I just I tried it out. It was lit though. So it was I good was money, not for but me. I'm okay, out of here. <laughs> period. Were, were yeah. you nervous when you first like got out there? Mm, was I? I think I was probably for like a couple seconds. It was lit. What? <laughs> it was lit. No, nah, this girl's crazy. Okay. Stay, stay in school, kids. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was already, I was out of school. I was probably like, I don't remember how old I was, like 20, maybe, I don't know. I feel like the money is worth it, but I would definitely have to go way out of town. I don't even want yeah, them niggas like, to speak I, uh, English. Nobody would, no one has, no one in the, no one would ever <laughs> guess, no one would ever guess that, and no one would have ever saw me. Like, nobody, like, I was so far. I was so far. Like, I was far. I was, I was far. Beautiful. I love far. that for you. <laughs> Me and my friends, all we, did you, wait, wait, what was your name? Did you have a name? <laughs> what was the name? Or, nah, because you're going to make niggas dig. I don't need niggas digging. Like, nah. Blue Diamond. Diamond nah, it Blue. it was not funny. It was Little Buffy. <laughs> little Buffy? Little Buffy? It was Little Buffy facts. You remember Buffy? I do remember Buffy. You were because I was dark skin. I had the, <laughs> had the thoink. <laughs> it was 
dark skin with the twink. They was like, yeah, a little wuffy. Okay, that's period. Now that was great. That's what you get. Come on. That's what you get. I love it. I'm done. I'm done. No more. My personality trait is blank. Personality trait? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My personality trait? I don't know. I'm cool. That's what you want to say, cool? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm mad cool. She's mad animated. I'm going to give I'm her animated. her personality. Yo, she's mad fucking animated. animated. I don't think I'm animated. I'm animated? Ariel, if you had to pick one word for Connie, what word would you use to describe her personality? Animated. What the fuck? A party. A party! <laughs> a party! <laughs> yeah, period. I like that. She's animated all of that. All of it, yes. Well, thank you. Definitely a ball of fucking energy when you're rolling with Connie. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what's next for Connie 2023? Connie Diamond is out here. She about to drop her new mixtape. I mean EP. Mm-hmm. The EP is a vibe though. Um, all jokes aside, um, I'm just trying to give the city a good vibe, man. Do you have a title for it? Yes. It's called Underdog Season. Love that. Yeah. We outside. Underdog Season. Yeah. This for all the people that was overlooked and misunderstood. Stepped on and then and, and never got a fucking real chance. But you don't think you're still considered the underdog, do you? I'm definitely still on the dog. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Feels like it. Definitely. So I feel like I still got a lot to prove, so I'm doing that right now. All right. I'm gonna be doing it all my time. Love that. Yeah. You no rush. It's a marathon. So underdog season, what can we expect? What's the vibes? Um, I feel like I feel like the city is going to love this shit because there's so many different vibes. Okay. I don't feel like it has one tone. I think it's like, you know, Project is usually like based on like a sound. I don't think it has one sound. Okay. Um, I feel like I put a little bit of everything that I like on there and a little bit of my personality comes out on a few songs. So I think it's just going to be like, okay, this is Connie. They got, they going to get the feel with the... Ratchet Connie, the the cool Connie, the serious Connie, the sexy Connie, all that type of shit. Love that. Goodbye. All right, so new tape with Connie Diamond Drop. It's the EP, mm-hmm. and we're getting that before the summer, you think? Really soon, way before the summer. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready for that. Yeah. Any mm-hmm. features? I got a few features, but I'm not going to talk about it. All right. Sorry. I already got you to open up on something else, so it's fine, you know. <laughs> it's fine. That's all you get. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> But all right, so new features, uh, new tape. Are you touring anytime soon? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I, I hope so. Know that black voice. I know. I hope so, man. Yeah. Look, I'm, I would like to. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you live because your music just has that energy. I already know it's. Yeah, it's gonna be about. It's gonna transfer. For sure. But thank you for stopping by and chopping up with me, Connie. Thank you for having me, Nyla. Appreciate you. Love you. Love you, too. Pleasure always. Shout out to your grandma. Let everybody know where they can follow you and tap in. Yes, it's your girl, Connie Diamond. Big Diamond, Bronx, New York. Underscore Connie Diamond, two eyes and a diamond on Instagram. Everywhere else, Connie Diamond, two eyes and a diamond. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace out. I can only do this when Connie's around. You (laughs) killing me. (laughs) Killing me.